This is waiting for justice. In the book, when you read the book, still our way, still our way. Now the propaganda is that it's in, you, what you have in, in the book is in black and white. It has more levity if you're sitting before, before the Hall of Justice and you got it in red, white, and blue. Mm. Mm? Mm. Red, green, and black again. The flag, red, white, and blue. Hmm? Mm. This is, this is one that you see the seas and have you, you see them. You can really see them, how masterful it is present, presented. And if you know anything about the Benin sculpture, this is as much of Benin as anything that you'll see. Now this person is, I have him in the book as I am a black man. This is Bearden's interpretation of the first person that fell during the Revolutionary War. This is Crispus Attucks. Mm -hmm. This is, you don't know Emmett Till. You ever heard of Emmett Till? 14 year old black boy, major force in history, was killed because he whistled. He whistled at a white leader down south. He was from mm -hmm. Chicago. They did not know that the whistle was how he talked. He had a defect in his palate which made him whistle. Mm. So he whistled, so they thought that the whistle was had some sexual mm -hmm. connotations to him. Yeah. And they they killed him. They burnt him, they shot him in the head. So this is Emmett Till. Mm. Yeah. There is no image in Bearden's Ood that really speaks to what he felt about Afro-American, about being the cruelty and crows, crows. I want to make the statement. I am not, when I talk crows, I am not talking about white people. Mm -hmm. I am talking about behavior. The behavior of the crows denies our, our humanity. They, the behavior of the crows will say that we are four-fifths something and lacking uh, humanity. We have no soul, we have no worth, uh, but other than the being the crows, okay? And Jim Crow did this so. Mm -hmm. The crows that in, that I talk about in the book, we're talking about behavior. Can a black person be a crow? Absolutely. Are the crows the one, the, the, the genuine, whatever that is that's happening in Africa, that, right? Those are crows. Their behavior is no different than the behavior that went on here. I will call the Chinese people who are, who are subjugating and, and doing what they're doing in China to suppress uh, in Iran, I call that the behavior of the crows. Mm -hmm. So it's not about race as such. It's not about black and white or green and red. It is about behavior. This is, this epitomized the, in one way, the behavior of crows the diminishment of, of our humanity, okay? This is, uh, you know, this is uh, Tubman and, and what's his name? Can I t I'm gonna tell you a story that's contained in a book about Bearden. Uh, if you go to 55, um, 125th Street, there's a building in there right now, and it's the Clinton, um, uh, Clinton ex-President Clinton in that building. Mm -hmm. That building, there was the, the 55 was knocked down, they put a new building up, but at 55 was Romare Bearden, Jacob Lawrence, Langston Hughes, Augusta Savage, and 
and the iconic figures uh, that are uh, um, known today uh, lived in, not, not only some of them lived in the building, but they worked in the building. There came a time when Bearden was standing outside and a lady, and he was sketching something, and a lady came up to him who was not one of the world's great lookers. Um, more homely than comely, is that the way it works? And she said to Bearden, you will never be an artist of any depth unless you can find the beauty in me, won't you do me? You know what do me mean, men? Won't you draw me, right? So I take that and I'm transitioning that to, look, this is, I am a black woman. You cannot say, and I mean, I, as a composition, it's a great, but this is a synthesis of an older black woman, no? Look at the C's, the U's, look at the, but look at it, it is, to me it is powerful. And I don't see, and now I'm going to get into trouble, I don't see the kind of draftsmanship in the contemporary artists of de Kooning and Burnett, uh, Bennett, uh, Burnett, and I'm not knocking any of them, Motherwell and others, who were considered the, the, the tops, you know, America. I don't see the kind of draftsmanship and skill and execution that you get here where you have no room for fallacy, no room for fault. Look at this. This is a felt tip pen. The other notion is, and I'm preaching a little bit, is with this, these, these images you're seeing, how far you can go without breaking the line. Mm -hmm. Do you hear? How far you can go without breaking the line. So you have to have this in the, in the hand. You can't hesitate and think about it. You've got to have it in the hand, in the mind, in the heart, and you just have to give yourself over to the moment. And let you, whether you have the skill or if you don't have the skill. So, you have it. Here, look at this. One line. Look. Look, look. So I'm saying, look at the C's and U's. Just, am I, am I, am I exaggerating for you? Hmm? No. no? Wow. One of my favorite pieces. Wow. Because what we get here, when you turn it over, is to complete the, the complete articulation and it is the architecture. Color, it's only, only, it comes alive when you have it as part of something and you have to have an architecture, right? Mm. You gotta be the architect. So when I say this to you, uh, and this is being recorded? Yes. Yeah, okay. Yep. Look at the architecture. Mm. Hmm? Is that, is that profound, is that, that's the stuff. In design we always talk about the bones. Yeah, is that You have bones? to start with good bones. Yeah. And then it all yeah. comes on there. Is that the bones? That's the bones. Mm -hmm. The bones yeah. are there. Yeah. The bones are there. And you're right. There is a the element of jazz, of music, of yeah. good, of yeah. great music, yeah. of the, you know, of the, uh, the complexity, mm -hmm. the rhythm, but the yeah. the sureness. Yeah. Um, 